Okay, so this video is called uh, Lacrosse Release, and it's pretty interesting. I, I've been kind of working with this concept lately. Uh, what I some things I found in Hogan Swing that I thought were pretty interesting, and um, came up with this idea that the release that Hogan was using, and that's kind of uh, I think becoming kind of popular in the the modern golf swing, is it, similar to like a lacrosse release. Now I didn't play lacrosse. Um, but I've got some students who have, and they they said that it's a very similar move. So essentially, what you see, like if you're a lacrosse player and you were to to throw, you know, to throw it into the net, you can't roll the 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 lacrosse net, whatever that's called. You can't roll it over because if you did that, the ball would just be thrown straight down, or potentially wouldn't even come out of the net at all. So in order for the lacrosse throw or shot to work. That the uh, the net has to stop and kind of sling the ball out of it. So when we're looking at this release, um, and a lot of this can kind of relate to the D plane as well. But when we're looking at this release, where the left wrist is kind of rolling in and stopping, or rolling to a point and then traveling the rest of the way with the body, and we're seeing a lot of that in this modern modern golf swing, where the club's coming in pretty square, or it's rolling to a square point and stopping and then exiting square as well. So the face is kind of uh, maintaining its squareness to the path all the way through the ball. And I think um, a way to feel that, if you're looking for a way to feel that, is to just kind of grip the handle about six or eight inches down and make this kind of snapping move. Now the key for that to work is it can't go all the way over because when that happens, obviously, and maybe you can see in the video that the face of the club is now pointed down at the ground. So if that were a lacrosse stick, we'd be basically just throwing the ball at the ground. So we have to be aware that as we're making this move, the, the basket or whatever it's called in lacrosse would throw the ball to the target. So as we're making this release, we've got to kind of feel our body work with the right side and with this release as we go through. And so how that relates to D-plane or kind of, um, you know, there's a lot of players out there. At first it was kind of just Tiger that was doing this left kind of move coming through impact. And now there are kind of quite a few players doing it. And the way that that relates is, it's really an interesting thing. If I set up in this position, so if you're looking at, if I'm looking, you know, I'm going to hit a shot this way. When I make this left hand move, where the left hand goes in, if you can see this, the left hand goes in, and the club head goes out. So what looks like it might create a left pull or a slice or a cut when Tiger's doing that move and other players are doing that move, it's actually kind of a neutralizing move because the left hand, or the lead hand, whichever your right hand or left hand, as you make that move with the left hand, the club actually, the club head is actually traveling that way. So if on your way to impact you're pulling the handle in, the club then is kind of going the opposite direction. It's going out. So the handle goes in, the club goes out, and you kind of zero out that, that uh, condition. So it's not that Tiger's trying to hit a pole and slice it. He's really not trying to slice it. But by pulling the handle in, the club's going out, and then they kind of neutralize, and that's how you hit a pretty straight shot. Now, it also can kind of have a tendency to produce a bit of a fade if you um, pull hard with the body across it, it's going to fade. But you can draw it from there as well if you kind of keep your shoulders a little bit more neutral coming in. Feel that release with the left hand, and that throws the club head out to the right, which would produce a draw. It's a pretty, pretty interesting thing, and I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's talked about that much. Um, so that's why I'm doing this video, obviously. But the way it relates to D-plane is, and when you hear the term D-plane, my, my friend... Uh, Eve Nicole has got a great D-plane video. If you type in Bam Bam Golf on YouTube, you should be able to find it. It's B-A-M, B-A-M, Golf. And he just is discussing D-plane. But basically, it, the, the basics of D-plane are that the club head, on its way to the ball, we, all, we always are told that the club should be traveling down on its way to the ball so that it can hit the ball first and cleanly, and then the ball's going to leave the club, the club's going to go through the turf, um, and the club's going to exit. But for the club to be traveling down, it has a tendency to want to be traveling to the right. So down and to the right would produce a shot that's going to start right. Or if the face weren't pointed to the right as well as the path, 
if it were to start straight, it would have a lot of right to left side spin on it. So a downward angle attack tends to produce an outward hit on the ball. So in order to neutralize that, if we wanted to hit a straight shot, we, we kind of have to have the club. It's not like it's going to come really from the outside, but we're not going to come so much from the inside to hit a straight shot. We're actually going to start to come a little bit more down the line through impact. So as I make that release, the club head's kind of working its way out, the handle's working its way in, and they kind of just match up to hit the ball squarely on the downswing and then exit. And it, it's even going to appear that the club's exiting a lot left. But as I said before, as the handle's going in, the club head's going out. So even though it, the club head is going to exit a little bit left and the hands are going to exit left, it's not as if I'm just pulling the club across my body. It's more that the handle's coming in, the club head's going out, and together they kind of neutralize to produce a pretty straight shot. So that's the, the lacrosse feeling um, and how D-plane and, and Tiger's rehearsal swing and all those things kind of relate. If you want to feel it, it's pretty simple. Just start with a short shot. Um, kind of feel like maybe you even take a 10-finger grip. Feel like you load that up, so you basically just cock that back. And then coming through, you're just going to unload it. And almost feel like you're taking a lacrosse stick and you know passing it toward the net. So the handle's going to come in, the club head's going to go out, and the body's going to turn with that move. And it's pretty easy to keep this stable. So it's a release, but the club's not overtaking. So we just make that move, and it's again, it's pretty easy to keep the face stable throughout. So yeah, try that. Hopefully it helps.